Hello? Okay, sorry about that. That was my mom. <laughs> she like was driving my brother to his workout practice and is stuck in snow. So she's waiting for someone to come pull her out basically. I like put mascara on, but I haven't set my face yet because she distracted me, so. Oh my God. That came out so intense. It usually came out, comes out finer. I just don't want mascara dots. That looks so ridiculous. So yeah, basically I'm doing content creating for Dolls Kill, which is a dream, honestly. Like, the longer I work here, the crazier opportunities I get, and it's just amazing, and I can't wait. And so that's like a really cool opportunity that I get to do. And then, just this past week, um, Dolls Kill is doing like a bling boot tour for that sparkly bling boot that I have that I wore to Snow Globe. And we did a trailer, like, announcing the tour and I got to do the voiceover on it and or they, there was like a bunch of voices in it and my voice was one of them that was used a lot and so many of you guys recognized my voice like when the trailer came out I, I didn't watch it because I forgot that I was going to be in it and then I was getting DMs from you guys being like I think I'm going insane but this really sounds like you and I was like that's because it's me <laughs> so that's crazy that you guys recognize my voice but then you were all telling me that apparently I have like a very distinctive voice so I'll put it right here so you guys can hear I need an eight and a nine. I'll do anything Please be restocking Hi, do you guys still sell the poster girl billionaire blink boot? Isn't that crazy? I need to start saving all the cool projects that I get to work on because it's just really cool monumental moments like of things like, I don't know. I'm very excited about it, so yeah. Okay, hair is done. I just did like loose little bends. And now I'm gonna get ready, pack all my stuff, and get to work. Okay, so I'm on my way to work. Hair and makeup turned out pretty good. Um, I forgot to like cover up my fake tan hands, so I'm gonna have to like use <laughs> some of the foundation on set. I know the model's call time is 8.45 today for their shoot, so I'm gonna get there hopefully at eight and then start shooting my bits. That's the plan for today. Um, I originally said I was gonna get there like 7.30 and now I'm leaving at 7.30, so love that. But I couldn't start filming that early, honestly, anyways, because it needs to be light outside for me to film, so yeah, I don't need to get there that early. But I'm super happy that I randomly got my nails done. Last night I wanted to go get my hair trimmed because I'm just like so extra. I'm like, I need to be camera ready. Like this is a big deal. Uh, but I couldn't, like I got out of the gym so late there was nowhere for me to go. Okay, I am so excited for today. I'm putting my creative cap on, creative juices. And this is gonna be really cool. I'm so happy that they're letting me film this because Behind the scenes action I think is so interesting. I love watching the behind the scenes of things, so. Yeah, I hope you guys like it. Let me know. I think you will. Oh, perfect. Okay, so I'm in the studio. I'm just about to start setting up. I made a rack here yesterday of everything that I'm using. So this is what the outfits look like. This is like a pink cowgirl outfit. It's all like space cowgirl theme. And then this is just all the black with these really cute star. I actually bought this in black and white because I liked it so much. And then I have this outfit with the pants. Not sure exactly how that one's gonna turn out yet. And then I have this pink cowgirl outfit, which is gonna be super cute. And then we have a green alien one. And not all of these are gonna make it into the video, probably. Um, I'm gonna have to like pick and choose which ones look best and whatnot. Yeah, that's what we're doing today. I'm super excited. Um, I kinda have to like try on all the outfits and make sure it all looks fine. But pretty much that's what we're doing. Look at these shoes too. These are the shoes that I'm doing. Like, how insane. These are like really cool shoes from the collection. 
And then these are like over the knee boots. These are really cool. I feel like everyone's gonna be wearing these at Coachella this year. They have like a blue pair and a black. And then those are over the knee cowgirl boots that have like a belt. So that's gonna be really cute with this one. You guys, they left a doll's kill robe for me. I'm gonna have to take a picture in this. I'm gonna get set up and stuff with like my tripod. You guys, I'm trying everything on right now and I'm really sad because yeah. um, these boots don't fit. Yeah. They're a seven and I thought I could squeeze even though I'm like a solid eight, eight and a half. And I, ca I can't even get my heel anywhere close to being in them. So I have to cut this outfit, which is sad because I really liked this one. Um, is this on backwards? No, it's like, so cute, but I have to cut it. I'm so sad. <laughs> Look at these chaps. <laughs> this is the third outfit or second outfit, but we need a necklace. Who's sorry. Necklace? No, not the same green. Dang it. I know. There's just so many that I don't know. Oh, what's this black thing? What is it? It's heavy. What do we feel? And there's oh, like is it a choke? Is it a necklace? Yeah. My okay. neck is really fat though. You can connect too. Okay. What about? Okay. Well, you can wrap it that's... twice. Okay, so it potentially look like that. That's cute. Do we need anything though? Are we trying too hard? I, I feel like your neck something. just looks naked. Yeah. I feel like the layering, like fishnet shrug underneath this would have been good because then you would have had the stuff going on right here. But we don't have that. Because we already used it. Yeah. No, the fishnet one. Like if you have oh, one. Yeah. There's stuff in that closet. Oh. We can use we can use any of that. Okay. <gasps> okay, I got it. That kind of works. It's not too crazy. It just looks like beads, which is like not cool. Like you want it to have like kind of like a touch. An oomph. Yeah. Oomph. It needs to support the outfit, not just like beat it. Like you do like barbed wire. Oh, that's sick. Yes. Okay. It's so tiny. Oh my god, I love this. I feel like that's kind of what you need though, because oh my god, it's so loud. I love it. Try it. You like pass me a necklace. I'm like, I have a fat neck. So like, <laughs> You're like, let me potentially. Oh yeah, that's cute. Cool. I like that. And it's so simple because the outfit is so like boom. Okay, we just wrapped the shoes. Um, I have to do an intro still. By the way, these are the boots like Cardi B wore and had a like little cowgirl outfit. Isn't that so cool? They're two sizes too small for me and they hurt really bad, but that's what you gotta do for the I don't know, for the shoot, for the work, for the beauty, for the work. Anyway, so yeah, I just finished and wrapped. Now I'm going to um, I need to do an intro, so that's what we're gonna work on next, and then I just have to clean up, and then I'm done. And then editing, obviously. But we got a lot of really cool behind the scenes stuff, I'll show you. We got some cute Polaroids. Look at the Polaroids. Uh, Wait. Memories. I like that one a lot. Yeah. Oh my god, I hate that one, but whatever. <laughs> so. Yeah, you guys have to keep an eye out on the Instagram, by the way, for when this goes up. And, okay, yeah, I'm gonna clean up and do the intro. So, yeah, let's do that. Okay, guys, we just finished the filming. Wait, I want you to say hi. This is Kelly. Hello. She's on the influencer marketing team with me. She's really awesome. She's been showing me the ropes and stuff in my new position. So, today I was like, Kelly, come to the studio and help me. <laughs> so, she was my behind the scenes gal. So, you guys can all thank Kelly. She's super awesome. And yeah, so now we're just gonna clean up and I'm gonna take a break. <laughs> and like, that was exhausting. Chill out, yeah. Yeah. I just found this, even though it's supposed to be healthy, but like, I've been being healthy so I can have this.
that was a really good day it got really hectic though after the shoot it got so hectic that i had to like not film anymore because there were so many things that i had to do in my department um and i had like all these meetings and things but the shoot was so fun and i'm gonna edit the video tomorrow well, I just got home and so it looks like I have a major shopping problem, except for I already knew that I had a shopping problem. So this is a bunch of misguided and Playboy collection stuff, which I cannot wait to open. This is something for a DIY I'm doing. This is BoxyCharm. I've actually been getting these sent to me for like a long time now, every month, and I really freaking like them so i'm going to show you guys what's in this one actually and then this is just like a bikini from fashion nova that i ordered yesterday so i can't even believe it's here right now and then these are something really exciting for my one of my ultra outfits so yeah i'm not i literally just walked in oh ow i just walked through the door i kind of want to go to the gym for a quick little burn session my room is a mess, but we're just going to ignore that. Oh okay, yeah, I'm just gonna like really quickly open this boxy charm because I get them every month and I have never talked about them before. I look a little bit rough, but I've been out all day, so please forgive my appearance. So yeah, I've been getting these boxy charms for a couple months now, like a, a lot of months now, and I've just never talked about them. But honestly, I look forward to receiving these. I don't have a code or anything, sorry, but. Um, I do recommend the subscription. You get like full size products and stuff. And some of the things that I've gotten, I use a lot. I got these like really awesome tart. Were they tart? No, they weren't tart. What, what are they called? This. Tasha. I got Tasha face masks in it one time. And these are bomb. When I open it, you just see this. It tells you what's inside of it, but I never read it, so brushes looks like a powder brush and a soft glow like highlighter blush from a brand called moda they're full size they're cute oh they're very soft maybe that picked up some of the oil on my face god i've been out of the house for so long i mean i can't say that i see myself using this one but maybe to like, actually maybe to dust away, bake, I would use this. That's cute. The handle is also really cute. This one is just like a face powder blush. I actually kind of like how this feels. I wish it was a little bit more dense. I do like dense kabuki brushes, but it's cute. This is a lift off, purifying and brightening peel off mask. I'm gonna have to try this. There's a lip product in here, Ofra liquid lipstick but it looks like it has shimmer in it so i'm not really sure how i feel about that it's not a color i would wear this is not the best one so far from what i've seen <sighs> see this is what i'm talking about cover fx like that's an expensive brand <sighs> oh my goodness oh wow i mean the packaging feels kind of cheap but this bronzer would actually, like, I could use that. This blush is pigmented. Love that little, you can't see it. <laughs> Love that. Cute. This is interesting. What the heck is this? Mana Catter. Look at the packaging. It looks like a concealer. I mean, concealer. It looks like a mascara. Yeah, it's mascara. Um, okay. Well, you know what? Not my most favorite box I've ever received. But I have gotten some cool stuff. For example, I've gotten this like full size Tarte setting powder I got in it. I got this Cover FX primer and then this Becca primer, which is kind of crazy. I've just gotten some cool things in it, but yeah. So I think I'm going to go to the gym, but I just wanted to say, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Um, my project at work today is something that is just really exciting for me and is me taking the steps towards a kind of job title that I want. I mean, it's it's funny because I used to know the path exactly that I wanted to go in and now I just take every opportunity that I can to like get experience and grow and like I'm learning, I'm doing content creation for a company that I really love and that I work for and I, 
I'm just like really grateful that the higher ups are giving me these opportunities. Like I think that's one of the benefits of working in a small company is that if you have a passion and they, the company sees that they'll give you the opportunity to do that. So I don't know. It's amazing, but it also is like the pressure is on, like you want to prove yourself and prove that like you can make good content, whatever. So I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram so you can see all the behind the scene things that I've been posting of either my job or YouTube or just my life and all that stuff. You guys can keep up with me there. My handle is at Tara Zero Neil. And then you guys can also subscribe to my channel and I would love to have you around. Then you can watch more videos just like this one if you want. And yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching. Today was like a really fun day. Um, and I'll see you in my next video.